Okay, I need one... No, I need 400 gold here. He's got size Storm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, I don't know if I want to be neighbors with the ogres while I take this expansion. Who do you want me kill? Yes, I'd be happy to. I can do that. Look, Rika. Let's get on. I am. Build more burrows. Look, Rika. Okay. Keep him going. Look, Rika. We're complete. What you want? Let's get on. Look, Rika. We have a lot of boats, man. In the previous mission, it showed like we had like three boats. Let's get on. That was just the artistic interpretation of the boat situation. Whoa! Accidental rep god? Artistic interpretation of the- That's insane. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was all army hot king my workers! No! Go. I probably just want to make a whole lot more trolls. Get out of the way! Get out of the way, Gruntman! Gruntman's kind of thick. He's still beautiful, though. That's important, too. Trolls need to be told, orcs need to be told that they're beautiful. Did I miss a coin? Oh. I used to scroll of the beast, guys. Using consumables in 2023. On my stream. First time for everything. How do I do this? Ah. What did you guys... Okay, that's a bit funny. Um, you guys are rallying through a little camp over here with golems. It's okay. I'm still proud of you. I just saw an ad I got so mad. Side note, did you ever solve the Milo Steel and Toby's food problem? I did solve that, Gabilan. Yes. Do you want to have the full story of me solving the Milo food situation? I will have to draw it out though, because otherwise I think it's going to be difficult to explain. We solved this problem about, I want to say, nine months ago at this point. Maybe longer. Milo actually just turned three years old. Toby's here today, by the way. Looking good as always. Okay, he's very passed out. Okay, okay, I'll complete this mission first, then I'll explain the cat situation. Um, I think we're pretty much done, right? Destroy the human outpost. I don't know how... I haven't destroyed it yet. Are you the final part of the outpost? Nope. Yes. The game is really quick, right? Pretty insane. I think I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for the next campaign. It's a bit too quick. I feel like I'm kind of rushed. Yeah, it still took me like half an hour. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's good actually, because some of the missions really do take a long time. Yeah, you can make it normal. I don't remember this at all. What in the world? Wait, Thrall gets captured by Murlocs? Does anybody remember Thrall getting captured by Murlocs on his way to Kalimdor? This is the demo campaign? Oh! Oh, I don't even know if I've ever played this before. Maybe I have?
Oh, yeah, I remember something along those lines, but it's been a long time. The demo added three more missions to the prologue. It got cut from the real game. Oh, shit, okay. So wait, is it in Reforged? I think I may have played it in Reforged. Mmm, yeah, 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 okay, I see. Chapter 4, The Fires Down Below. Thrall finds himself in an underground lair, held prisoner by the Murlocs and separated from his companions. Okay, okay. Um, here's the cat situation. Um, Gavilan was just asking about it. Thank you, by the way, for the 42 month resub. <sighs> okay, here's the, here's the problem. I have two cats. One cat, not an issue. You give him food, he eats the food, and it's great. We uh, had to find, you know, we had to try and find the correct food for Milo for a little bit, but at some point we found something that doesn't give him explosive diarrhea. Very nice. Not gonna lie, highly recommend giving your pets food that doesn't, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, the problem is when we got Mr. Toby over there, we couldn't give him the same kibble as Milo has. Because apparently that can mess up with his digestion and you might get the same problem, but then since we're already on strict food for Milo um, We wouldn't really be able to give him anything else. Long story short, we needed to make sure that the cats did not eat each other's food How do you make sure that cats don't eat each other's food? Because it turns out their favorite thing to eat is whatever the other cat is having Not whatever they're eating at that moment, but whatever the other one is eating and this was kind of tricky. This was kind of tricky. So initially, we started off like every cat, right? Like every cat owner, we had two food balls. One of them was Milo. One of them is Toby, right? We had like two food balls right over here. Uh, they would eat each other's and not, not their own, which immediately would result in explosive diarrhea. Bad situation. <laughs> So we found these, we found these things, and with we I mean Loran, because, you know, I'm dumb. Um, we found these, like, feeder things. Um, how do I draw this? They kind of look like this. They kind of look like a little ball. No, give me a brush. They kind of look like this. It's like a little ball, right? Okay, maybe a little bit bigger than that. It's like a ball like that. And it's got, like, a little scanner thing over here. And then it's got a little cover right over here. So the food would sit right over here in this little box. And this cover over here slides up when this thing over here scans their chip in their necks. So both of my cats have like, they have like a, in their, between their shoulder blades, they have like a chip so they can be found if they're ever lost. And this, this feeding bowl basically uses that in order to determine which cat is sitting in front of it. It's like an, it's like an automated toilet seat, yeah. I thought it was super clever. Here's the problem. It's not fast enough, and my cats are apparently more intelligent than the average cat. So it didn't take all too long. Like, this worked great for a couple weeks. It didn't take all too long for Milo, though, to notice, hey, that thing is currently up, right? Toby is sitting here, he's eating, right? Uh, he's eating right over here. This is, why is my brush? Okay. The thing is up. Toby over here is eating the food. Milo figured out, you know what? I can join in, and as long as I keep my paw in between the lid closing, or as long as I keep my head in between, or I just scoop the whole thing out, we've seen him do that as well, where he just takes the entire little separate bowl that's inside of this, he just takes it all out. He will still manage to eat his opponent, or his opponents, his, uh, what do you call it? His brother's food? Anyways, we figured out uh, a solution to this. Here's the solution. Um, we have a box. This is like, uh, it's kind of like the size of like a, a large shoe box, I guess. This is like a, a box over here, right? It's, it's, you know, you can see depth over here, right? It's like, a, it, it goes on for like a little bit that way. And we have the thing sitting over here inside of, um, inside of the, 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 so the, the chip reader thing, the chip reader bowl, it's sitting inside of the box. We tried a lot, by the way, as well, on just the feeder itself. We got, like, this extension unit that basically cut it off from the back, because sometimes Milo would join in on the back. 
Um, didn't really work very well. I got like a bunch of cardboard to make sure that only one cat could sit right in front of it. Also didn't work. Uh, most of those solutions worked for like half a week and then they didn't anymore. Um, they now have this setup, I guess, where they sit in like this, this box. So the, the feeder thing is inside of this box over here. Um, so the cat walks up to it. There's a little hole in the in the box that only can fit one cat. And by the time, so there's like a 10 second delay or maybe a five second delay on the little lid closing. Since they always idle in front of the box after they've eaten for a couple seconds, they're always licking their lips and like, you know, cleaning themselves for a little bit. Um, by the time that the other cat can get in, the lid is already closed again. This worked great. <laughs> for like a month and a half. So we have two of these boxes sitting side by side, right? There's another one over here. One of them is for Milo, the other one is for Toby, right? The only problem is that Milo... Uh, Milo... Oh, actually, Milo's not the problem. The only problem is that Toby does not enjoy eating within a dark box. So what Toby started doing is drag out his own food, so he would literally scoop it all out and then eat all of the kibble right over here in front of it. This is literally like a year and a half of us trying to make sure that the cats eat their own kibble because otherwise yeah it's been a, it's been an absolute meme. So I got this um what do you call that in English? Clitterbunt. Clitterbunt. What do you call this in English? Velcro? Yes, Velcro. I got um these strips of Velcro <laughs> stuck to the bottom of Toby's bowl and the actual feeding thing. So, he can't actually pull the whole thing out, and he can't really scoop it as easily. He can still technically scoop it, but this has been working for probably about 5-6 months at this point. And I think... I think this is the permanent solution. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they, actually, they actually like it. They actually seem to enjoy the, the puzzle of, you know, trying to figure out how to eat each other's food. I think, I think we've won, but there's a chance he will just start scooping all of the food out again, and at that point, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm really not sure what I would do next. I think I found the optimal feeding build for the cats. Have I tried a, a light in the, in the box? I mean... <laughs> it is, yeah, it does look kind of cute. I don't know if I have a, a picture of my cats eating from that thing. Um... I've taken pictures of it before, but uh, this is going to take a second. I don't know if I can find it very easily. Uh, it's very cute, though, when they're both eating at the same time. Because you basically have those two boxes and it's just their butt sticking out. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can find it. Yeah, I tried a lot of different solutions, man. This seems to be the the best one I've come up with. I definitely have pictures of it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. I'm all the way back at Christmas time right now, scrolling up. It's been a little bit since Christmas. Um, no. If I ever find it, I'll, I'll show you guys. Or if I maybe can take a new picture of it, I'll show you guys. No, no, no. But yeah, it is, a, it is a bit of a struggle. Having one cat, or two cats, I guess, that can eat the same food would be much easier. But sadly, uh... Not as easily done. Look, I put the box above a grit, so if Toby takes out more food, it falls through the grit and they can't reach it anymore. Actually really clever. Yeah, he will do that once and then he realizes, oh fuck, that, that just, now I can't reach it. <laughs> Scoop the food for the other cat. Yeah, so that's one thing I didn't realize about cats. They're totally fine with the other one eating their food. Like, they will even make room for them. Like, even if you give them a very small amount of food, they'll be like, oh yeah, no worries, bro. You just sit right next to me, we can eat together. It's okay, what little food I have, I'll share. So it's kind of beautiful in a way. But, um, yeah, I'm still scrolling. I can't find anything. 
I did come across this picture. Uh, this is from about a year ago. Um, that is the bottom of my couch. <clears throat> a little uh, self-made hammock. Sorry, I'm gonna restart this mission because I didn't actually, I didn't see the little cinematic. <laughs> Did you find a picture of it? Did Laurent post a picture of it on Instagram? Oh, no, 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 this is another one. Yeah. Yeah, he did destroy the couch. Actually, it's fine. We just cut off the whole, like... I don't know if she ever posted a picture of them eating at the same time, because it's been, it's been quite the adventure. Damn, Milo used to be so little, dude. Insane. Milo just turned three a couple days ago. No, I don't think she's got a picture of them eating in their box. Oh my god. This giga chat over here is Toby, right over here in the front. If you're thinking about getting a puppy or a cat or whatever, just know that if you ever go to a place where they sell puppies or cats or whatever, it's bait, okay? If they invite you over, they're like, hey, yeah, we just got kittens, come check them out. Um, that's bait. Everybody knows it, but as soon as you see the kitten, you want to take them all. <laughs> There's no uh, just, oh yeah, just a casual visit to check out, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. Okay. Let's go down, sysadmin. Us and using us for sacrifices. Murlocs? Sacrifices? To what? A long time ago, they started worshipping some witch. They say she lives under the ocean, and if they don't make the sacrifices, she'll destroy this island. Well, someone should have told them that orcs don't scare that easily. Now, let's get out of here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Should I be? I have no idea if I should even be joining in. What is the point of me running in here? No, the humans are most definitely not allies. They stink and they... They talk weird. Okay, Thrall got another level up. I mean, it does say it in the title of the stream. It says Warcraft 3 custom campaign in StarCraft 2. Let's get on with it. I think that's pretty descriptive. But I know nobody reads titles. Nobody reads titles. I should just put a bunch of emojis in my title instead. <laughs> just make it full clickbait. I could literally put a little box right above my camera, yeah. M slash G A slash G everyone. What's going on, John J. McDonald? How are you? Welcome. Let's get on with Look Regard. Let's get on. I am the spirits. Look regard. What's this? What the hell? The old gods! Um, I think I go here actually. A couple of tentacles. I should put, uh, really? Eggplant emojis in my stream title? I don't know if I want to do that. Is there a tentacle emoji? That would be more appropriate. So these Murlocs are storing this many grunts and humans and, and undead and everything just for sacrifice? They're doing a lot of sacrificing, man. Do you think it's smart to lock prisoners up with their weapons? I'm no expert, but I don't think that's the smartest move. Murlocs aren't very smart, I guess, in the end, yeah. Hey, what's this? Hey. Okay. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten. Ten tickles. It takes the ten tickles to make an octopus laugh. Let's I knew that one, yeah. Thank you, Blue Hair, for the 300 bits. Dabu. Yes. Hmm. The spirits. Look regard. Let's get on with it. Look regard. A sacrifice a day keeps the witch doctor away. Well said. Too bad it wasn't enough. Let's get on with it. I am Look regard. Look regard. I am Look regard. Not enough mana. I'll pop the little healing scroll because I don't really want to lose my dudes. Plus, you seem to always get quite a few consumables anyways. I have a tendency to save up my consumables whenever I play anything. I mean, what what if I need them on the final boss, you know? But I am going to play a little bit of V Rising, by the way, in a moment. And then at the end of today's stream, I also am going to do some StarCraft II coaching. No! Orp of fire? Really? That's a big damage to you. Uh, big damage boost. Is there more that I can... I can free? I 
I feel like I missed a, I may have missed a couple dudes. I'm not exactly sure though. For honor. Hey. What's going on? For the horde. How'd you guys get over on the wrong side? I have another scroll of the beast. That might be helpful. Hey, Trupia, what's up? Thank you for the two years. It's a long time. Welcome. Oh no, what? Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened in case you're wondering. Hey, chief man. It looked like there be a passageway here. Maybe we find a way out. Let's see if we can break through these boulders. Did I storm my own marines? I stormed one of my own items. You come just in time. I've got so many low HP units right now. Try and tank as much with the wolves as I can. These are the dire wolves from the first episode of A Game of Thrones. Oh, I can use full Starcraft hotkeying. Of course I can. Don't know why I didn't consider that. Potion of mana? Scroll of healing? Let's go, baby. Uh, I guess I don't really need a ring. How do I? Inventory is full. How do I drop it? For honor. Ah. Figured it out, guys. Professional gamer. <laughs> Confirmed. Only took me about half a minute. I bet you're all very impressed. Lol, I paused the live stream thinking it was a video because I got a phone call. Dude, I have done that so many times. I do that all the time when I'm watching a live stream. I keep thinking I can pause it. And then I realize Twitch technology is still in 2012 and I don't have any of those replay features like that. And then usually I go down a negative, you know, spiral and I think about how the bitrate is still also stuck in 2012. Oh yeah, pausing streams works really well on YouTube. Oh yeah, YouTube YouTube playback is way better. I saw some numbers the other day for uh, YouTube live streaming compared to Twitch. And uh, as far as absolute numbers go, they have far outgrown Twitch. It's not even close. It's just that gaming is bigger on Twitch than live streaming for gaming on YouTube. But did I wait? Big item? What item? Oh, <laughs> didn't even notice. Ah, that's really good. Thank you. Loka, could you please take a break? I have a phone call. Yeah, yeah. Let us know when you're back, okay? Also, don't lie to us, Rambo. You don't make phone calls. Everybody knows millennials and zoomers don't make phone calls unless they absolutely have to. Claws of attack plus six. Not a tot stream, confirmed. Here we go. I don't know what items I should drop and which ones I, I should keep, but... I'm glad that these guys stopped 
fighting until we showed up. It was very convenient. The only thing that Twitch has as an advantage is Prime. Yeah, Prime and I would say culture. Yes, I am the like, chat culture is very nice on Twitch. I like it a lot. I haven't really seen a community like the one we have over here on, on YouTube for live streaming. But, um... I've said this several times, but it kind of feels to me like... YouTube is almost winning the live streaming game, and they're not even really trying that hard. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at the interface on YouTube, it kind of seems to me that they don't really care much about live streaming. But they're already almost winning. <laughs> like, they're they're like not even really trying, man. It's 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 just a very small little side project for them, it seems. Let's get on with it. Yes, the spirits are restless. I believe we are no longer welcome in this place, watching. Oh, did I make it? No, 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 I just rescued all my allies. That's what I did. No fear to mode on YouTube? Yeah, that's insane. They can code that in a, an afternoon. I tried to stop them, but there were too many. They said he is to be sacrificed to their witch. Then we have no time to lose. Senjin must be freed. Warchief, I sense a protective shield around the sorcerer. I believe these three fish creatures are helping maintain it. Pathetic fools. They will not stop us from receiving what has been promised. Senjin, don't despair. You'll soon be joining him. That's why I don't remember Senjin. <laughs> I was wondering why I didn't remember him. It's because he dies in the third prologue mission. Dude, that's a lot of protection, man. I am finding so much protection. How do you guys feel about protection? What do I... What do I, I guess I get rid of the potions. Overrated? Pretty good. Okay. I see uh, the, the opinions are all over the place. I should probably pop the scroll. Oh my god, I might just die. Thank you, Alex. Okay, you go pick up the, uh, you might need to solo this final bit. Thank you, Alex. One year worth of support, hell yeah. Whew. The Murloc Throne. Oh, he's still alive? You don't have much time, young one. Go. Well, you and your people are coming with us. It be too late. I'm already gone. Those of you who wish to follow me will face many dangers. It will not be easy. But if you So this explains the islanders, yeah, the island trolls. What are they called? The dark, dark, whatever coal troll. We come with you. I just, yeah, I just dropped two healing potions. Would you like one? Should I have given him one of my, uh... Your gods, land dwellers. You cannot escape the currents of death so easily. Where is that voice coming from? I don't know, but we have no time to waste. This oh my god, you're collapse. right. For custom campaigns, AI voices? See, the, the AI in general is a bit shaky, right? It's always difficult to judge how that works. 
But there is definitely more than enough voice information in, like, say, for example, StarCraft 2 for Mr. Rainer. Would it be bad if custom campaign makers would use an AI version of Rainer to voice their campaigns? Yeah, these voices are original, I get that, but... Chapter 5. Sunlight greets Thrall and his companions as they escape the underground lair and make their way back to the surface. Land dwellers, you have slaughtered my minions and defiled my sanctuary. Now you will be drowned by the wrath of the tides. You'll have no more sacrifices today, witch. Go back to the depths where you belong. Very well. Your choice is made. The air you breathe now will be your last. At last, we've reached our landing site. War Chief, while you are gone, the nearby volcano erupted. This entire island has begun to sink. What? The whole island has begun to sink? How long to repair the ships? The repairs are nearly done, War Chief. Then finish them quickly. We're about to have company. Defend the ships at all costs. This entire island must be purged. Let's I can't watch you do this. I am Arthas. The I can't watch you do. Okay. Um. Ready to work. We need more numbers. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, I can make raiders now. I don't really want raiders. Go with you. Yeah, this is what I want. Berserker Thralls. I need a fortress for that, though. Okay, I don't know if it's possible for me to get those, but those are sick. I've always liked the Berserker Trolls. No idea if they're considered to be a good unit in multiplayer, though. This is Netherlands Simulator? Just blame Belgium. Ha! Ah, already? Calm down! So I have 19 minutes, but in reality, what it actually comes down to is less than that, because we're playing faster mode now. Bro, I'm running around in circles right now. Okay, I think I'm going to save up to go to a fortress. Should I be repairing that? I probably should have been repairing that. A couple siege tanks would be nice. Dude! Okay. Uh, if you guys could maybe go on... What's this? A little bit of lumber? Can you loot that? No, Thrall has to go over there. Himself. So I need to rescue the trolls as well. I don't know where they are. Oh, I remember the the warlock, uh, or sorry, the uh, the Naga campaign. There's like a few missions where you have this really OP-looking mutalisk thing. The Qutal? Q, Q. Oh God. The darkness of the deeps is all that awaits you. You got room for one more, man? Just for Zuji. Um, yo, these guys don't mess around. Hey, there we go. The Berserker upgrade. That makes the trolls much more powerful. I think I'm also gonna go for a second barracks if possible. Dude, these enemies are actually going insane, though. We need more gold. We're complete. With you, yes. Research complete. Okay. I'll rally reinforcements over here. I'll try and get a couple towers going here, too. And then I would like to get... Damn. 200-200. 
That's actually pretty nuts. We need more gold. We need more. We need more. Building armor, yeah. Do they automatically use Berserk? They do. So that's nice. Okay. Putting down a lot of static defense. Oh, I can get Earthquake? I mean, I'm kind of wasting my upgrade here, though, but not... Uh... Protecting this better. Okay. I'm gonna go and fight on the left side, I think. This is kind of intense, guys. Holy crap. I have so little time. I think they're gonna fight me on the left side again very soon, though. I guess I'll get all the upgrades over here. You guys just repair. I'm making a new burrow, no? Yes. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, they are fighting me here. Okay. Shipped ready in 12 minutes. I have saved two of the four allies so far. I don't know where the others are. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now my towers are going to be pretty good. I think. I've lost one of my towers here. Oh, these guys have no tanking, though. Complete glass cannon. Okay. I don't know where the final Murloc is. Or the, the final... Thingy. That's quality commentary. You're welcome. Oh shit, they're coming around the side? I don't think I should fight those. Not right now, anyways. Um, still one group of guys missing. <laughs> this is how they repair with a pickaxe. Is there a second upgrade? Improved spike barricades. Yeah, I think there might just be multiple layers to that one. That's actually pretty nuts. I didn't realize that. It's like onions, yeah. So many layers. It has three levels. Wow. Really? Our town we need more gold. Earthquake! Does Earthquake do friendly fire? <laughs> I might have been earthquaking my own. I don't want to hear it. Eight minutes remaining, guys. Holy crap. Um, I'm still missing one group, probably down here. Yes. Oh, 
I hear the summons. <laughs> Uh, I might just be getting murdered. You seek me help? I hear the summons. Claws of attack plus six. Troll. We're under attack. Okay. For honor. Dustingo! Uh, I have lost basically all my army, and I still need one of my allies rescued. Nice. Frog just turned into a little frog type of thing. I don't think that's ideal. My god, they're just going! Insane, dude. I'm getting wrecked by a bunch of murlocs. Not cool. Six minutes is a long time as well, no? I just lost to a fish. Earthquake's really bad, it doesn't deal damage to units. Oh. The sacred growth is being desecrated! <laughs> We're not quite there yet. There's no sacred growth yet. Land dwellers. You have We need more gold. Okay, new strategy. We're gonna sit back and chill for a while, and then we do some, uh, never mind. Thrall, I guess, himself needs to go. I need to find the other headhunters. A bunch of them were over here. Brusik, what's up? Thank you. This is higher rest than Warcraft 3 Reforged. Uh, I mean, it's running StarCraft 2. This is this is the StarCraft engine. So I guess that's why. How much lumber do I need? Quite a bit. I think I'm good as far as the amount I have goes, though. Okay. Gonna go pick up that other guy over here. I mean, they're optional objectives, so I don't care that much, but I would definitely like to have them if possible. I thought I got one of the things over here as well, but I guess. Your efforts are futile land dwellers. The darkness of the deeps is all that awaits you. Okay. We definitely want to try and keep all of this alive. And we're gonna turtle up really hard. I'm just gonna make a million towers. Like, imagine a reverse cannon rush, but except you're now building them on your side of the map. Sick, right? Great strat. I know. Oh, a couple shamans would probably be nice. You're right. Our town is under attack! Seems like most attacks come from the right, though. Yeah, aesthetic defense in this game mode is uh, pretty nutty. She just bubble. Okay. We need more lumber. The spirits are resting. I think I found maybe one group over here somewhere. Angels for Sulji. We need more lumber. Probably should have made a couple of workers, huh? We need more lumber. The spirits are restless. 
for honor. One of the shamans must have found a way to purify. Shaman? We need more lumber. Shaman? Yes. I feel like Warcraft we never really uh lumber. decided how you should pronounce it. Work complete. For honor. Double. Potato potato. Tomato tomato. Shaman shaman. I think there's no shame in being a shaman shit. Or a shaman. Anyways. She man? I don't think that's right. I'm pretty sure it's shaman. Go, 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 go. I guess I'll go chain lightning instead. Tier 3 chain lightning is probably better. Let's get on with Our town is under attack. Oh, I never I never actually got the upgrade yet. I teched up the fortress for nothing. Well, I guess I got that upgrade, but not for the upgrade I actually was originally hoping for. Let's get on with the spirit. I am the Lokrigar. I am the Watcher. Mate, where are those trolls? Not over here, no. We need more lumber. Build more burrows. Research can't build them. Our town is under attack. Work complete. Dude. Okay, you know what? Screw that last group. Screw that last group of burrows. I don't care. Or of uh of 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 shaman or troll, whatever. <laughs> okay. I will just make as much static defense as I can possibly put down. You guys go and hang out over here. Everybody make some towers. We need more lumber. Our town is under attack. And we'll just power out as many of these upgrades as I can. 200 wood though. 